Raleigh and Wake County leaders are looking for ways to solve the triangle's rise in homelessness. Yeah, and they've started a new task force targeting the problem. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway live right now at Wake County Commons building where that committee is meeting for the first time. Joseph. Yeah, Bill Liz, this task force is made up of more than a dozen leaders, as well as people in the community who want to help and people who have experienced homelessness. It comes as Wake County leaders say they are expecting to see a rise in the homeless population when they finalize their annual report to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The county says those numbers are likely higher than we know because a lot of people are staying in hotels or couch surfing, so they are difficult to keep track of. Commissioner and task force co-chairman uh, Vicki Adamson says that the Triangle's housing problem, housing prices are a big part of the problem. These are just families who can't pay $1,900 a month for rent. In pre-pandemic, their rent was $900. It's went up $1,000 and they just can't pay it. Now, the task force will wrap up in February of next year, and then the county is going to use that feedback to plan initiatives geared toward homelessness with the goal of hopefully including money for that in the budget for 2024-2025. Live in Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News. All right, Joseph, thank you. You know, a lot of people wonder what they need to do if they see homeless people and they want to help out. Well, the county suggests calling Triangle Family Services, who will then come out to the location and check on their needs. We've posted a link with that information if you head over to CBS17.com.